tonight at 6. Those two skills are a part of the training that teachers here in Colorado receive when they take the faster firearm safety training course. News 5's Andy Cohen spoke with a local teacher who went through that training over the summer months and wants the school district to start a conversation here, Andy, about allowing staff to carry concealed weapons. Absolutely, Robin Elizabeth. John McFarlane tells us that he's willing to die to protect students, but he would much rather have a fighting chance if the unthinkable ever happens. In a mass shooting, every second counts. But every 17 seconds a kid gets shot in a mass murder situation in a school. That's approximately five or six per minute. Yet, even in a best case scenario, the police are eight minutes away. It's why local high school science teacher John McFarlane took the faster firearms training this summer. I've asked myself many times, why should it be that I have to die protecting my students? Why can't I live protecting my students? And if I have that training, uh, and I'm willing to take any training and go through any tests that they want me to go through, why can't I uh, be part of the solution? And he's not alone. Nearly 100 teachers and school staff went through the program in 2018. They expect even greater demand next year. I'm assuming we'll, ha we'll need at least six classes this coming year. I'm in the position of needing to look for extra range space. The trainees don't just learn how to shoot, but also how to stop the bleeding. And McFarlane thinks that aspect of his training can be a starting point for a broader discussion on school safety. That's where I would like to, to reach common ground and begin the dialogue and the discussion, which is what can we be doing more to save lives? McFarlane is a certified pistol instructor and he has a concealed carry permit, has had one for several years. However, he does not bring his gun to school because doing so right now is considered a felony. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thank